Hi and welcome everybody. This video is one of a video series talking about the anatomy of the liver and exactly in this video I'm going to talk to you about the visceral surface of the liver. Let me uh, just remind you um, about the diaphragmatic and visceral surfaces of the liver. There is a video on that so you can watch it uh, but uh, just quickly uh, the anterior part of the uh, liver and the superior part of the liver that's of course located under the diaphragm and part from the posterior part of the uh, uh, liver this is uh, these parts known as anterior um, the diaphragmatic surface of the uh, liver now what about the visceral surface you know from its name visceral it means against different uh, visceral organs and the structures so this is the uh, visceral surface of the uh, liver today I'm gonna talk to you about this surface or what known as visceral surface okay in this uh, posterior inferior view of the liver I will show you this is the visceral surface of the liver and you can see that it's kind of completely covered by peritoneum and you know this coverage of course there's an exception for that if you look this is the gallbladder so the fossa for gallbladder is not covered by peritoneum and the hilum of the liver what's known as porta hepatis is also not covered by peritoneum so the visceral surface this is the visceral surface of the liver is covered by peritoneum except the um, uh, area of or the location of uh, fossa for gallbladder and the porta hepatis right okay but you I was I will raise these things if you again look to the uh, visceral surface of the liver you will see there is a kind of impressions like many impressions right indeed these impressions are uh, located against different uh, abdominal organs and structures we'll talk about them and also there is a kind of fissures uh, seen here and there as well so we'll talk about them let us start first talking about fissures and regarding the fissure when you look uh, to the inferior surface or the visceral surface again of the liver here in this uh, uh, figure uh, you would see that there are two sagittal uh, oriented fissures this one which is on the right and another one on the left connected to each other by a transverse fissure which is uh, represent the uh, which represents the uh, porta hepatis or the hilum of the liver you see it creates a kind of or they create a kind of uh, arch shape right letter arch shape on the visceral surface let us start with the uh, this one with the right uh, fissure you know let us uh, go a little bit down look this is the uh, for the liver this is the anterior and this is the uh, sorry posterior and this is here anterior you would see here that this is the uh, location of the fissures that's created indeed by two structures the first one is the fossa for gallbladder right and posteriorly uh, the uh, fossa also or groove for the inferior vena cava so they are close to the right lobe of the liver so this is the right fissure so uh, let me uh, raise this again okay so this is the right fissure that's created by anteriorly a fossa for gallbladder here and a groove for inferior vena cava here don't forget that those close to the right lobe because we are looking now to the inferior surface of the liver okay now what about this fissure the left uh, fissure indeed left fissure 
formed by two ligaments. It's easy also to remember. Anteriorly, there is a round ligament. This is the round ligament. And posteriorly, it's formed by another ligament, but it's called ligamentum venosum. So round ligament anteriorly and ligamentum venosum posteriorly. Okay, you can say, okay, what's the round ligament? Indeed, this ligament is a fibrous remnant of the umbilical vein. So it was it was the umbilical vein. But you know, after birth, after birth, there is no need for that. And uh, what's the function of it? The fu its function was to carry the well oxygenated and uh, uh, the nutrient um, rich blood from the placenta to the uh, to the fetus, right? So this is the function of the round ligament that was the um, was umbilical vein, but then obliterated and closed and it becomes a ligament. Now, what about the uh, uh, function? Let me erase these things. Okay. What about the other ligament, the ligamentum venosum? You know, the ligamentum venosum is also a fibrous ligament, a fibrous remnant of um, uh, ductus venosus. It's a kind of a vein which is like a duct. So it's a kind of uh, internal circuit um, in the liver that shifted the blood from the umbilical vein to the inferior vena cava. So there is no need for the blood to go to the liver. No, no need. So the blood will go through duct to ductus venosus directly to inferior vena cava and from inferior, from inferior vena cava to the heart and from the heart to the whole body of the fetus because the liver is not working yet. And now let us move to the uh, uh, impressions at the visceral surface of the liver again. This is we are looking to the visceral surface of the uh, liver. This is the visceral surface of the liver. And of course, you know, this is a kind of something related to the diaphragmatic surface of the liver posteriorly. Anyway, so this is the visceral surface of the liver. And remember, this is anterior and this is posterior. Always the inferior vena cava is posterior. Now, I will start from the left side. You know, if you look down before starting with the impressions, look to the liver that's flipped up. It's a, it, it covers the part of the right side of the stomach. Here, right? So we expect it to find a kind of impression here, which is here. You can see it. It's, this is the gastric impression, which is against the right side of the stomach. Okay, now you know that the stomach connected up with the esophagus. This is the esophagus. So there is an impression posteriorly uh, uh, on the liver for the uh, esophagus. And so this is the, but toward the midline. So this is the gastric impression and this is the esophageal impression. So this is the gastric impression and toward the midline, this is the esophageal impression. Okay, moving to the right. So if you go down, you will see that the flipped, if you imagine that this uh, flipped liver uh, just released, so you would see that it, come, it will come over these structures, right? So what we have here, we have the right colic uh, flexure or hepatic flexure. It's called right colic flexure or hepatic flexure because it's against the liver. And there is a transverse colon. So this is the most an anterior one, which is the right colic uh, flexure. It's called colic impression, right? It's called colic impression. So where is it? Okay, this is the most anterior one. There is the colic impression for the right colic flexure and transverse colon. Okay, let us move a little bit posteriorly, right? You will you will see here the right kidney. This is the uh, shadow of the 
right kidney, right? So there is it creates a kind of impression here at, at the visceral surface of the liver, but posterior to the right colic flexure. Okay, this is again we said this is anterior. Well, let us move toward the posterior. Now, this is a, a colic uh, impression, and this posteriorly, this is the impression for the right kidney is called renal impression renal impression okay now posteriorly also toward the midline this uh, cap on the upper pole of the uh, kidney is the right suprarenal uh, gland which creates also an uh, impression on the visceral surface of the liver which is this is the uh, kidney but posterior right we're moving toward medial and posterior medial and posterior so this is the sub an impression for suprarenal uh, gland it's called suprarenal impression you know it's always remember that it's close to the inferior vena cava and uh, remember that sometime if there is an tumor or a mass in the suprarenal gland you may expect a kind of compression on the inferior vena cava right so now what else if you move a little bit medially and anteriorly you will see the uh, superior part of the uh, duodenum okay let us move anteriorly because we know moving anteriorly like this this is the anterior part of the liver so moving from superior gland moving anteriorly here is the uh, duodenal impression well there is another way to remember the duodenal impression it's easy it's between the gallbladder and renal impression this is gallbladder and this is renal impression so uh, uh, the liver when it you know this is the age of the if 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 the liver released again so there will be this area the duodenal impression above this part of the duodenum simply okay what else let me erase these to show you i think the uh, last part look look to the uh, lesser curvature of the stomach and the first part of the duodenum it's connected to the inferior surface of the liver or to the visceral surface of the liver through this double layer of peritoneum that's known as lesser omentum there is a video on lesser omentum you can watch it so uh, this is the lesser omentum that's attached to lesser curvature of the stomach and first part of the duodenum inferiorly and to the ligamentum venosum on the inferior surface of the liver this is posteriorly huh? so here we go here is the it could be like that ligamentum venosum right and porta hepatis this is porta hepatis or the hilum of the liver so this is the location of attachment of lesser uh, uh, omentum now just a quick uh, with something else but i will remind you that posteriorly there is ligamentum venosum and anteriorly the round ligament okay but where is the round ligament this is the round ligament right so you maybe get a better view so let me show you again imagine the liver is here and should cover all these structures so there's a colic impression there's esophageal impression on the inferior surface of the liver and there is an impression for the uh, colic impression sorry this is gastric impression yeah and this is colic impression and impression for transverse colon both together colic and impression for right kidney and impression for the suprarenal gland which is I said close to the inferior vena cava remember that and an impression for the superior part uh, of the duodenum it's called duodenal impression okay that's it for uh, this video hope you find uh, value in it thank you